well, how can IT leaders uh, fill um, IT skill gaps? Well, look, that's been you know the question since IT started, right? We've always had a shortage of resources, so that's why AI is really so important and, and could be a game changer. We can have six, seven, 20 customers all have the same problem, but they you know, create a ticket with certain nuances that might not be apparent to the support person that's looking at the ticket. But through AI, they look at those tickets and they can immediately see the pattern that those tickets represent. And it could surface the solution that we're looking for to solve that customer's problem. We're also seeing AI address a lot of the, what we would call configuration issues that we see sometimes we release a new product right? It immediately identifies some environmental things that we should configure or adjust so we have maximum performance. Basically, we're looking at these AIs as experts within the core systems and bringing that information up and collating it, bringing it together, and really creating a view of everything, right? The Uber view of that information across the entire company. So we're looking at AI really as a mining tool that's going to surface information that before we weren't able to connect the dots on, right? And this is going to accelerate the way we can connect dots and make decisions much faster, right? So that's really where we see it outside of IT having a tremendous impact on, you know, our internal customers and obviously the way we can conduct our business. But when you think of AI right now, um, you really have to think about a child in its infancy. It's learning. You know, it's getting there and it will have potential to do great things once it has learned what it needs to learn in order to be, you know, something relevant in IT and the rest of our business. What do we need to really have in place, right, to properly leverage AI and make it something foundational for the company going forward? That, that's really what that's about. We started with our legal folks starting a governance committee around privacy around data and and what really is our ethical view on how AI should impact the company and our customers, right? Because the key thing here is that data is involved, right? And we all know that data is, you know, it's all over, it's ubiquitous, but there's a lot of policy, right? There's a lot of practice around data, securing that data, making sure it doesn't escape into the ether and become you know, a problem for us. So we established good policy first on how we were going to approach using AI. That's the first step. The second step then, as I mentioned earlier, is the data. Now we have data all over the place, okay? Obviously every system has data. So getting that data organized, secure, and manageable is the second step. And we're doing that in the company. We have certain products that we brought in, right? that will allow us to manage that data at a governance level and then at a transport level. And then finally, when AI needs to access it, it will access it responsibly, right? It will bring the right data at the right time with the right policy around it, right? We just don't want to spew data, you know, out into a response that could have PCI data or data that's obviously highly sensitive to the company, right? So it's important to establish the right governance, right practices, and getting your data organized so that, you know, the intern is able to learn and become that functional employee that we all hope to have when AI is mature and accessible to everyone. Now, the other thing I absolutely tell our employees that is that, look, no matter what job you're in, you need to understand how you stay relevant in that position, how you evolve yourself. And I, I, I am optimistic that AI will, you know, mature certain positions for sure, but it will create new jobs. And what I'm telling my people is that we've established, again, the right governance and ethical view of how we want to use AI.